Hello, my name is Sanaz Bamarzadeh. I'm a professor at UCLA and a gynecologic cancer surgeon. I also serve at the West Los Angeles VA Hospital. I'm also the proud affiliate oncologist for the Ovarian Cancer Circle inspired by Robin Babini. We all know that the COVID-19 pandemic has created very unusual challenges in delivering care for cancer patients. It's important to know that the care of each patient should be individualized, and this is our approach at UCLA, and one size does not fit all. Now, if a woman has a diagnosis of ovarian cancer and is being treated actively for her cancer, but she does not have an infection with COVID-19, her care should be delivered in a timely manner and it should not be delayed. Now, of course, diagnostic tests can be performed judiciously and also when and if possible, um, visits can be done via telemedicine and also telehealth. It is recommended that care for cancer patients with curative intent, particularly in cases where without therapy, the cancer can progress, should not be delayed. On the other hand, if a woman has an active diagnosis of ovarian cancer found to have a COVID-19 infection, her treatment in the form of chemotherapy and radiation should be held. Any form of treatment that's immunosuppressive should be held in these patients. And this is generally recommended at least for 14 days. And any infusion should only be considered at least until 72 hours when the patient is found to be symptom free. It's also important to perform a COVID-19 test before starting any new immunosuppressive therapy in the form of, again, chemotherapy or radiation. Many recommend that actually two COVID-19 tests are performed 24 hours apart, again, to ensure that the infection has resolved prior to resuming care of the patient. There is no evidence that a woman who has a history of ovarian cancer and is an ovarian cancer survivor is at increased risk for acquiring COVID-19 infection, or if she does get COVID-19 infection, that the infection would be more severe. On the other hand, patients who have an active cancer diagnosis, there is evidence to suggest that if they are infected with COVID-19, potential risk of complications and the severity of the illness could be greater compared to the general population. Like everybody else now, ovarian cancer patients should take every precaution to avoid exposure to COVID-19 and minimize the risk. Clinical trials are very important for helping advance care of cancer patients. There are always challenges associated with enrolling patients in clinical trials. I'm very grateful that at UCLA, my patients who are being treated in clinical trials have continued to receive their treatment, while again, we have judiciously used diagnostic tests and also minimized visits using telehealth and telemedicine when and if possible. I want to thank you all for your time today. I hope that this discussion was helpful. I hope you all take good care of yourself and stay safe. Thank you.